Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a tongue. Today I'm gonna to bring you guys a new video. My video today, I'm gonna to do a little sit down and we're gonna just showing a little bit of some of my products. Not a little bit, but some of the products that I use. This is a product that I've used guys for a very long time. If you're new here and you've been here for a while, you know that I am so I have been natural for five years. So within those five years, this product that I've actually really been using on a daily basis, okay? So literally these are my everyday hair products that I use. If I haven't tried any products here on the channel, I will always go back and try those. So these I'm just gonna quickly share with you guys. Some of you are joining into the natural hair and you're trying to learn new things here and there, especially hair products and stuff like that. So in this video today, I'm gonna do a little chit chat with you guys and said, not really chatting, but I'm gonna be sharing some of the products I've been using. Anyways, I'm gonna dive into the video. I don't wanna to take too long because I'm gonna to try to be very straightforward to the top 2020 going forward. That's what we're doing. So the first thing I usually go into is the wash day products. So the first thing I have been using for longest time, the first thing I do before I shampoo my hair is doing like a hot oil treatment or do like a pre-poo. So I pre-poo my Africa Best oil i've had this since i started my natural hair very long time so when i'm pre-pooing i usually use oil but most recently i started to use some conditioners and i said i try like a pre-shampoo on the channel you've seen it so those are just stuff that i try but this is something that if those things are not there this is what i go to so all the products i'm trying to share is the stuff that i do every week every two weeks this is what I do, okay? So this is my Hubble oil. I'll leave it in the description box. Once I pre pull my hair, I go into with a shampoo. So this has been my shampoo since day one. This is the Aussie Moist shampoo. This is absolutely my favorite one. And I've used this in a very long time. I like the shampoo, it washed my hair really well. They just recently made it uh, paraben free. Still, it's a silicone, it's a silicone, the silicone um, shampoo but I still like it because it still wash my hair really well and it's cheap guys go to Walmart go to Superstore if you're Canada Canada Walmart and Superstore go there and your local beauty store you can find it Osmo shampoo guys this is what I'm gonna share with you guys go and find yourself it's very cheap okay I just recently added into my okay trying products so this is also my if you need clarification this is a clarifying shampoo Clarify your hair, cleans a lot. This is a clarifying shampoo. This is the Sheer Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Retour and Restore Shampoo. This has shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. This one here, I go for it when I really want my hair really, really, really washed and clarified, okay? You're clarifying your hair. So this is why I go with these African Best, uh, African Best Sheer Moisture. So this is a recent one. This is a, an old one, okay? If ever this one is not available i'll switch to this one so these are my shampoos that i use on my hair on a regular basis okay i switch back and forth depending on how my hair is feeling that day depending how my hair is feeling that week if i feel like i have too much product build up and everything i usually try to wash it out if i feel like my hair is not too bad i just need to clarify my scalp and all that stuff just make sure it's really yeah so these are the two i use okay I'm gonna go into my conditioners. My conditioner, I've used this conditioner. This is my Aussie Moist conditioner. I've used this since a very long time. I've used this for a very long time. And I literally just love it. The reason I love this jump, uh, conditioner is because it has like a very good slip. A slip is literally like when you put it on, you can feel it gliding. You can feel it gliding into your hair. Sometimes some conditioners sits on your hair. Like it just sits there, it doesn't go into your strands. This one goes into your strands and make it easy for you to actually comb and make it easy for your hair to glide through. So that's what is called slip, slip in your hair. Sometimes you put some conditioners, you'd be just like, what's happening? So this is one of my go-to Aussie Moist conditioner. I use this, it's almost done. I use this all the time, okay? With my treatment, my deep treatment, I have used this for a very long time, ORS. This is the ORS Hair Restore Hair Mayonnaise with nettle leaf and horsetail. 
this one here is what I usually go for. There's other ones, there's other brands like uh, I think I think Africa's Best has another one. I find the uh, Africa's Best one is really really running. This one is really thick. That's what I like about it. It's super thick. You know, it's so thick. You can see my fingers and my hands in there. This is like two times of uh, deep treatment, and it's really thick. Smells really good. I swear, I cannot. I can. Okay, I can swear by this deep treatment. If you really want your hair absolutely like deep treat treatment, this is a protein treatment. So I do it every month. So I don't do it every other two weeks because I just don't want my hair to have too much protein. But I do this on a monthly basis. So I do this every month. My next one will be end of this month and I'll do another treatment. This is a deep treatment I've gone to all the time. So what I do is some uh, mostly before the end of the month, this is what I'll be going to. I'll do the Aussie Moyes conditioner. End of the month, I'll do my deep treatment and I'll do my hair mailing deep treatment. And that will be, yeah, that's what I do. I'm gonna go into my styling products, okay? My styling products, I said already, have made a video on this one. This is so my conditioner, <laughs> my leave in conditioner. My leave in conditioner is the Sheer Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore leave in conditioner this one here it's been my go-to i'm not going to talk too much about it because i have a video on the channel about this one this has been like my go-to has a lot of moisturization lots of a lot of like moisturization a lot and i don't really need too much of it i just need a little bit it's going to keep my hair moisturized i've used this one here already this is my hair and i used this one here last week so if you're new i can put the video here so you can go check out how this product works on my hair and for butters i like to do i like to do like that's my homemade butter this is a share moisture as a share butter this share butter here i do it at home i make it at home it's really good for my like once i put in my leave-in conditioner i follow it up with a share butter and that's how i moisturize my hair guys i just wanted to keep it simple i don't want to do too much of everything so that's these are my two favorite go-to these i just started to make at home and um yeah that's what i would say for shea butters try to make your own homemade shea butter if you want just so that sometimes uh some shea butters are really really like super thick like super thick so what i do is i add my favorite oils into my homemade uh into my homemade shea butter and I add whatever kind of oils I like, like tea tree oil, peppermint, um, what other one? Yeah, and uh, castor oil. I add into them and then just going to make a blend. And that's going to help with like, mostly I use this in the winter because it's a cold season. And yeah, I just kind of add on it. So that is it. And when it comes to gels, I don't use a lot of gels in terms of putting them on to my actual strands. I like to use gels for creating like Afro puffs like these. And they just kind of help with, they help when I do my abdus and all that stuff. I like to put on the edges. I don't like to put too much on it. Unless if I really, really want to do like a wash and go, which I don't usually do because they're just too much. <laughs> they take too much time. So if the Ocus Alcohol Eco Styler Gel is my go-to. I don't use a lot of gels, guys. Don't. So see how your hair likes gels. If your hair really really love gels so go ahead and try on and experiment with gels i haven't experimented a lot with gels so i just kind of go to which one works so eco style gel the reason i like the eco style gel the olive oil one is because it's really it's really watery like so there's a lot of water and moisture so it's not too drying you know that's why i go for it so anyways i bought this jar about i think two weeks ago three a month ago so yeah, so Eco Style Gel are some of the gels that I'm kind of experimenting on right now. But in general, I do not experiment a lot with gels because they just leave my hair super dry. And I don't want to deal with, uh, I have a, I'm a mom now and I don't want to deal with like washing my hair over and over. I have no time to run into the bathroom <laughs> and wash my hair and condition again, you know. So I minimize a lot of gels. I try to use them just on my edges because like the reason I said already, I do not want to 
be washing my hair over and over so yeah that's all the products that i've used guys those are the products that i i currently use and i've been using some of them i've been using for a very long time since i started some of them are kind of added into my hair image regimen depending on how i like them how i actually they work on my hair so yeah that's it guys that's all the products that i own so far not all those are the products that i use on my hair on a regular basis those are literally my everyday hair products okay anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have more questions about natural hair products that i use what other natural hair products you feel like you want me to try before you go and buy let me know and i'll do a review on the channel i try to be like an experiment for you guys for my hair but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave your comment let me know what are some of the stuff you want to see more here on the channel i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys bye